everyone, this is Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet and today I want to show you how to make the cabled spa cloths. These are really fun to crochet. They crochet up quickly for an intermediate crocheter and they are wonderful gift giving ideas for all year long and also very practical and you may just want to make a few for yourself. Um, well, before we go on to the project, I just wanted to ask you to please hit that thumbs up button. That really does bless me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And that little notification bell will make sure you get all the new things that I'm going to be uploading. And I have a lot of fun things lined up. Well, let me show you what you're going to need. For this project, I'm going to be using Omega Symphonia. This is 100% cotton. It's a much finer cotton weight. Um, it is a sport weight, so take note of that. It's not a worsted, but a sport or a number two weight yarn. And I'm all recommending that you have a size G or six or 4.00 millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle, as well as a pair of sharp scissors are always handy. Let's go ahead and start. We're gonna begin with a slip knot. And we are going to chain 38 chains. Once you complete the 38 chains, we're going to begin with working double crochets in the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. And work a double crochet there. And work a double crochet in each chain all the way across when you complete this row, you're going to have a total of 36 double crochets plus the chain two at the beginning, which also is going to count as a double crochet in this crochet pattern, making the total number of stitches in row one, 37 stitches. Now to begin row two, we're gonna chain three. We're gonna skip the first stitch. We're gonna work a half double crochet in the next stitch. Now for the next um, eight stitches, we are going to be working the row one of the wheat stitch, if you need to check your notes on the pattern. And we're gonna skip two stitches for this, front post treble crochet in the next two stitches, that's one. And again, the post stitches, you're just wrapping your hook around the body of the stitch rather than working in through the top loops. After working those two front post treble crochets, we're going to work behind them. We're going to come into the hole right here and we're going to front post treble over the two stitches that we skipped. And the best way to do that, you can actually use your thumb to help you find this. I'm using my fingers, my finger and my thumb to help locate this stitch. I do have some videos in the video description below on these foundational um, um, cabling stitches should you need those. So if you need a refresher or you want to learn those first before beginning this project, or you can just hang with me and I'll try to explain as I go. Now if you skip the next two stitches, then we're gonna front post treble crochet in the next two stitches. Working in front, of these last two stitches. We're gonna front post treble in those two stitches that we skipped. This is easier because you're working in front and not coming in behind those stitches. Okay, now we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. And make sure that you're not double dipping in the stitch that you've already used as a post stitch. So we're gonna half double crochet in that next stitch. And now we're going to work, well, let's go ahead and take a look at that. And you see how the stitches go out. This is row one of the wheat stitch. Now we're gonna work the foundation um, section of the big cable down the center. And the way we do this is we're gonna work three front post double crochets, not treble, but three front post double crochets. And we're gonna follow that with a half double working through the top loops of the next stitch. These half double crochets act as spacers to help give our cables a lot more definition. And we're gonna do this four times. So that was one set, and we're gonna do this again. Three 
front post double crochets and then a half double crochet worked right there and we're going to do that two more times three front post double crochets that's one two three and then followed by a half double and we have three sets one two three we need to do one more three front post double crochets two three and a half double crochet worked in those top loops of that next stitch now we're going to do another wheat stitch just like we did here and we're going to skip two stitches front post treble in the next two stitches one two and then working behind those two stitches we come into the hole and we're going to front post treble in each of these two stitches and I find it best to locate it and then use my thumb to help with that coming into the hole once again and find that next stitch I know it's a little bit awkward and tricky at first but once you've done it a few times and you understand what you're doing um, I think you'll you'll get it skip the next two stitches one two and front post treble in those next two stitches working in front of these two stitches work in a front post treble in those two stitches that we skipped one two at the end of row two we work a half double in the top of that last stitch and work a half double inside that chain two space okay so this is what you should have at the end of row two now we're going to turn chain three one two three we're going to skip the first half double and we're going to work a half double in the top of the other half double right next to it now we're going to work back post double crochets across each of the next eight stitches this is the um with the back side of that wheat cable the small wheat cable so back post double crochets and just go ahead let's go ahead and do all eight of these that's six and seven make sure that you do have eight of these when you finish working across the back side of that weave cable and then we come to the half double crochet we work a half double crochet in the top loops of that half double crochet and then as we work across the foundation for the large cable we work three back post double crochets So one, two, three, followed by a half double crochet. We're going to do that three more times across this large cable foundation. Three back post double crochets. And then a half double crochet. And do it again. Three more back post double crochets followed by a half double and one more three more back post double crochets two three and then a half double crochet and then we just need to work eight more back post double crochets over the next wheat stitch one two that's 
three, four, five, six. See how I'm just working them straight across as they come. I'm not crossing anything on this row. Okay, so we should have, make sure we have eight of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we do. Okay, now to end this row, we're going to work a half double crochet in this chain space, just like that. And let's go ahead and turn and see what we have now. This is after three rows. Now we come to row four, which is where we are going to cross, begin crossing the cables in the center. And let me just go ahead and talk you through this just a little bit. We are going to actually bring this column crossing in front on this side, and then this column is going to cross on the front on this side. So I'll go ahead. I just wanted to give you a little vision of where we're going. And the rows for the smaller wheat cables on the sides are going to be the same of, as what we just worked um, two rows before this. So go ahead and chain three. We're going to half double crochet in that first stitch. We're going to skip these two stitches, front post treble crochet, and the next two, just like we did on row number two. Working behind these last two stitches, we're going to come into this hole and we're going to work this stitch and then this stitch with a front post treble. And I think you'll find that this is a little bit easier than when we worked at two rows before because we have a little more a little more space here working with the, the trebles. Okay, now we skip two more stitches, one, two, and we front post treble in the next two stitches. Working in front of these last two trebles, we're going to front post treble in the two stitches that we just skipped. Okay, now the fun begins. Okay, so you can see how these stitches are going to continually cross outward. Now we work a half double, a little spacer stitch there, work through the top loops. Okay, now we're going to bring this column on top of this column. And this is the way we're going to do this. This is kind of my unique cabling system. We're going to skip three. One, two, three. We're going to half double crochet in that next stitch. Front post treble in the next three stitches. One, two, three. Now, this is very similar to what we did with the wheat stitch over here, working behind the last four stitches, the three trebles and the half double. We're going to come into this hole here, and we're going to work front post trebles one, two, three over each of these stitches. And again, if you stick your thumb up in that hole, it'll help you to, you know, feel where the stitch is, and you can kind of help direct your hook. I can see the next stitches here, and using my fingers, I can verify that I am wrapped around that hook, or, or wrap, rather around that stitch. And that's two stitches, and let's come into this hole one more time, and verify I've got that third stitch. And there you go. So that is crossed outward. And I promise it's going to look a lot better than this once we get a couple more rows um, finished. Now we're going to half double and that half double working through the top loops. Skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and then we're going to half double in that next stitch. Front post treble in the next three stitches, one, two, three, and now working in front of the last four stitches, we're going to front post treble here, here, and here. 
it's a reach, come all the way over to that first stitch and do that front post treble crochet. One, two, I'm trying to keep my thumbs out of the way. I use my thumbs a lot to help um, hold the fabric, but I know you need to see the stitches, so I'm trying to accommodate that. Half double crochet in that next half double crochet. So whenever you see a half double crochet in your work, you're pretty much going to work another half double crochet through the top loops. Now for the wheat on the other side, the small wheat stitch, we're going to skip these two stitches, front post treble, in the next two stitches, working behind the first two stitches, come into that hole. You should be getting used to this by now. And if not, hang in there for a few more rows. I promise you'll get the hang of it. Okay, and then the next stitch. Okay. And skip the next two stitches, one, two front post treble in those next two stitches, working in front of the last two stitches, front post treble in the two stitches that we just skipped. At the end of the row, we're going to half double crochet in the half double crochet and then half double crochet in that chain space. Okay, now we're ready to turn and we're ready to begin row number five. Now to begin row number five, we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, half double crochet in the next stitch. Now we're gonna work back post double crochets across those eight wheat stitches. After working those eight back post double crochets, we're going to work a half double in that half double crochet. Now working the row that follows the cro cable crossings of this large cable can be a little tricky, so let me go slowly with you on this. We're going to work three back post double crochets. This is over the first uh, half of that crossed cable. And now in between the last stitch and the next stitch, this is where, let me show you, where the cables have crossed. You can even stick a finger in there if you wanted to. Work a half double crochet in between that, the last stitch and the next stitch. And then three more back post double crochets, one over the next three stitches. That's two and three. We're going to skip this half double crochet, but we're going to half double crochet in the top of this stitch. Now let me explain something that I just did here. I did skip a stitch here, but I added a stitch in here, so thereby they cancel out mathematically, thereby the stitch count still remains the same from row one. Okay, just wanted to make that clear because I know someone's going to get upset or nervous about that extra stitch and just wanted to show you that they do cancel so that the stitch count remains the same and if you're reading patterns um, maybe for the first time and you notice I didn't put stitch counts at the end of every single row it's because if the stitch count does not change there's not a need to put the stitch number hopefully that makes sense okay so I've made three more back post double crochets and we come to the other side where the other side of the cable was crossed put a half double crochet right there between the the last stitch and that next stitch right where the cables crossed and then three more back post double crochets. One, two, three, half double in that next half double crochet. And then we work those eight back post double crochets. After those eight back post double crochets, we work a half double crochet in the top of that next half double crochet and one in the turning space. Just like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back side. Now we're ready to begin row number six. 
Okay, to begin row six, we're going to chain three again. One, two, come on, there you go, three. Skip the first stitch, half double in the next stitch. Now we are going to do the weight stitch just like we did in rows two and in rows four. We skip two, front post, treble crochet, and the next two stitches. Working behind those two stitches, we come and we work front post trebles in those two stitches that we just skipped. Hopefully this is becoming a little bit easier. Uh, as I say that, I'm there you go. Having a little bit of a struggle finding that one, but my fingers do the do the work for me. Skip the next two stitches, front post treble in the next two stitches. I am speeding up a little bit, so if, if you need to slow me down, I know I should have said this earlier, there's a little gear-shaped icon here. It'll be on this side for the left-hand side. You can always slow me down. If you click on that, you have to stop the video, but you click on that and it brings up a, a speed uh, menu and you can slow down or even speed up this video should you wish. If you're looking at a cell phone, three vertical dots up in this hand over here for the left hand version, that will do the same thing. You click on that and you, it'll bring up a playback speed menu and you just choose whichever speed you'd like. If you want to slow it down, just leave it normal or um, speed it up. All right, so after we do that wheat stitch, half double crochet in that next half double. Okay, now we're going back to what we did on row number two for this row. It's just a repeat of row two. For the large wheat, we do three front post double crochets. There we go. Half double in the half double. And then three, three more front post double crochets. half double in that half double. Let's pull up some more string. And three more front post double crochets. One, two, three, which is pretty much what we're going to be working throughout unless you're crossing these cables. Half double in that next stitch. Three more front post double crochets. half double in the half double. And then now I'm just going to talk you through this part. We're going to do the crossing of these these cables for the wheat just like I showed you here. Okay? Skip two front post double, I'm sorry, treble crochet and then working behind those, do these two stitches front post treble, etc. When you get to the end of the row, we're going to work a half double crochet in the half double crochet and a half double crochet in the chain two space. So go ahead and finish out that row. Now we're gonna work row seven, which is actually the same as row number three. We're gonna start with a chain three. We're gonna skip the first stitch. We're gonna half double crochet in that next stitch. We are going to work, let me go ahead and just tell you what you need to do. We're gonna work eight back post double crochets across the wheat stitch. We're going to half double crochet in this half double and then working across the large wheat stitch with the back side facing, we're going to work three back post doubles, half double, three back post, half double, three back post doubles, half double, etc. And then we get to the other wheat stitch. We're going to work eight back post double crochets, half double in this stitch and then a half double in the chain three. So go ahead and finish row seven. Now we're ready to start row eight and row eight is going to be the same as row number four right here where we crossed these large cables. So let's go ahead and begin that. We're going to chain three, skip that first stitch, half double crochet in the next and we're going to go ahead and cross these cables. So go ahead and work the crossing of this um, small weed stitch where we skip to front post double in these two, work behind these two, front post double, I'm sorry, treble in these two stitches, and then skip two 
front post treble in these two, working in front, front post treble in these two stitches. So go ahead and work that. After completing the crossing of this wheat stitch, we're going to work a half double crochet in the top of that half double. Now we're going to cross these cables in the same manner that we crossed them before. So we're going to skip the next three stitches, half double in the top of that half double crochet, front post treble in the next three stitches, one, two, three, now working behind the last four stitches, come into this hole again, and we're going to front post treble in each of those three stitches that we skipped. One, two, and make sure you're coming into the right place, and three. Okay, half double, and that next half double, work through the top loops, skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, half double in that next stitch, front post treble in the next three stitches, one, two, three, Working in front of those last four stitches, we front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. That's two and three. Okay, hold that back for you. And then half double in the next stitch. And then we are going to cross this wheat just the way we did the first one right back here. And then we're going to work a half double crochet in top of the half double and then a half double crochet in that chain three. So go ahead and finish that row. This is what you should have at the end of eight rows. Now for row nine, which is actually a repeat of row number five, we're going to chain three half double crochet in that next stitch. And whenever you see um, it written in a crochet pattern that says next stitch, that means skip the first stitch and work in the next stitch. Just wanted to clarify that for some of you who might be confused by some of the crochet pattern lingo. Okay, so now we're just gonna work those eight back post double crochets. And instead of having me work them, just go ahead and work those eight back post double crochets in that half double and then I will work the center section with you. So I just wanted to review working these center large cables with you after the crossing. Work three back post double crochets. And then we work a half double in between that last stitch and the next stitch. And then three more back post double crochets, one, two, three, skip this half double, and then half double in the next stitch. Remember thereby keeping that stitch count constant. And then we do it again on the other side. Three, back post double crochets, that's two, three, half double in between that last stitch and the next stitch, which is the center or the crossing of the cable. And then three more back post double crochets. One, two, and three, half double in that next half double crochet. Again, there was a half double back here that we skipped, but you can't even see it, so I'm not mentioning that. And then eight more back post double crochets across the wheat, small wheat stitch, half double crochet in the half double, and then a half double in that turning chain. So go ahead and finish row nine. Okay, now for rows 10 through 13. So that's 
10, 11, 12, and 13. That's four rows. We are going to repeat rows two and three. Now remember rows two and three were just establishing the foundations for this large cable. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue working in the same manner, the same pattern stitches, except we are not going to cross any of the cables for the next four rows. We're just going to work straight. When you get to this area here, you're going to work just front post double crochets if you have the front post facing, or you're going to work back post double crochets with the back side facing, and you're going to work those half double crochets in between each of the columns. And it's just going to go straight up in columns. We're making the the um, open honeycomb section here. So again, work this continually in pattern stitch crossing with each, you know, each time the front side is facing, you're gonna cross these smaller cables as you go, just the way it looks here. But this section here, we're just gonna work straight front post double crochets or back post double crochets. Do not cross any cables in the center. So go ahead and work those next four rows. After completing rows 10 through 13, this is what your project should look like at this point. Okay, see how the these columns are elongated and haven't been crossed. Now let me go ahead and give you a little vision here before we go to row 14. We've been crossing these cables out. Now when we come to this section up here, we're actually going to do the opposite of what we've done here. So what we did on this side with the crossing, we're going to do on this side and what we did with the crossing here we're going to do on this side and what's going to happen is this is going to come up on the outside here and this side is going to come up on the outside kind of like closing it up as a circle at the top or as a large honeycomb. Well, let's go ahead and do this. This is row number 14. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. Skip that first stitch, half double crochet in that first and go ahead and work your cable crossing just like you've been doing all along over these eight stitches and the half double crochet here. Now that brings us to the center cable. We're going to skip these three stitches, half double and that half double. Front post treble in those next three stitches. Okay, now we're going to work in front of the last four stitches on this side and we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we skipped. One, two, this is two, and three, half double in the center of the cable. See how this comes around, we're making like a giant honeycomb. Skip the next three stitches, half double, and that half double. Front post, double, and the next three stitches, one, two, let's get some more yarn, and three. Now we're going to work behind these last four stitches coming into the hole. We're going to front post, double, and the three stitches we skipped. It's very similar to what you did before, it's just that we're doing it on opposite sides. And the third stitch. I'll get my thumb in there. Hold on a second. See, I even have trouble once in a while with this. Okay, there we go. Just got to persist. And then half double. And that half double. Let's pause and take a look. And what we've done here. All right, so go ahead and finish this row. I'm just going to cross the little wheat stitch, half double and half double in that turning chain. So this is what you should have at the end of row 14. Now for row 15, we're going to turn and it is an exact repeat of row number five. So let me go ahead and just talk you through this. We're going to chain three, half double in that first stitch, eight, back post double crochets, half double crochet, and since this is the row that follows the crossing of the cables, we will work three back post, half double in between the last stitch and next stitch, remember at the center of the cable crossing, and then three more back post double crochets, half double, 
three back post, half double in between the cable crossings, three back post, half double, eight back post double crochets, half double and half double. So go ahead and complete row 15. This is what you should have after completing 15 rows. Now for rows 16 and 17, you're gonna just repeat rows two and three again, which is what we worked here where we did not cross any of the cables. We're just going to work across in our pattern stitch. We're gonna work just front post double crochets, half doubles front post, etc. as we work across row 16. And for row 17, we're gonna just work across again, mostly in back post double crochets, and then working half doubles where the half doubles all the way across the row. So go ahead and work rows 16 and 17, which again, if you need, additional stitch report you can stitch support you can always go back and look at rows two and three and I'll put a little time mark at the bottom to show where rows two and three begin. This is what you should have after 17 completed rows. Now we are ready to work row 18 which is actually a repeat of row 14 that we worked right here. So go ahead and chain three, half double crochet and work the wheat stitch right here and your half double crochet and I will work this crossing of this large cable with you once again as a refresher. After working that wheat stitch and that half double crochet we're going to skip the next three stitches half double crochet in the top of that half double and we're going to front post treble in the next three stitches one two and three. Now we're going to work in front of these four stitches. We're going to be matching what we did down here in row 14. We're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we skipped. It's one, two, and three. Now we're going to half double and that next half double crochet. Skip the next three stitches, half double, and that next half double crochet. Front post trebles in the next three stitches, one, two, three. And now, okay, working behind those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble coming into that hole and we're going to work those three stitches that we just skipped. One, and two, get the stitches right, there we go, and the third time right here, make sure we grab that stitch properly. And there we go. Let's go ahead and anchor it with our half double crochet on the other side and take a look at what we have. And you know these will straighten out once we work the next row. So this is how row 18 is crossed, just the same as row 14. After this, we're just going to work the wheat stitch, row one over that, um, these eight stitches, half double in the half double, and then half double in that chain space. So go ahead and finish out row 18. This is what you should have after completing 18 rows. Now we have three more rows for the body of this spa cloth. We're going to work rows 19, 20, and 21. And you are simply going to repeat rows 15, 16, and 17. I'll put a little time mark at the bottom of the screen so you can go back to 15, 16, and 17. If you need stitch support, but let me explain what we're going to do. Um, 15 and 16, we're going to work the row, I guess with the back side facing, for row 15. This is the row where we just work across and pattern stitch. The only thing different about this row is that you need to work the half double crochet in between um, where the cables cross as you work across with the back side facing. Okay, for row um, 20, it's going to be a repeat of the rows that we work across in pattern stitch, and we're just gonna work front post double crochets, half doubles in the middle, no crossing of the cables, 
and the same with row number 21. We're just going to work with the back side facing, um, no crossing of any cables, just work back post double crochets as you get to the large cable with the half doubles in between. So go ahead and finish those three rows. Again, go back to the um, place at the bottom that I showed you earlier, should you need additional stitch support, and then we'll work the perimeter round. This is what your spa cloth should look like at the end of 21 rows. Now we're ready to work the perimeter rounds, and we're gonna start with round number one. We're going to chain one, and this is with the front side facing, and we are going to work a single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. So go ahead and work that across, and I will meet you at the corner. So after working in each stitch across the top, we're going to turn 90 degrees. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to work one single crochet in that first row end. In the next row end, I'm going to work two single crochets, and that's what I'm going to alternate along the edge until the next corner. I'll do this a couple times with you. So that's one single crochet in the next row end, two single crochets in the next row end. So as we continue across the edge of the rows, it's one single crochet in that end row, and then two single crochets in the next and just repeat this all the way across and the owl meet you at the corner. Okay, working across the bottom of this swell cloth, we're going to chain two and then we're going to begin working the opposite in the space, the opposite of the original row that we worked. And you can see the remaining chain. And this is another reason why I prefer to use a chain and rather, um, you know, the single crochet foundation because it just adds more bulk to have to work over when you work these perimeter rounds. And by working the perimeter round, it kind of evens everything out in the long run anyhow. So, um, and it does take less yarn in this case. Okay, so we're just going to work one stitch in each stitch all the way across until we get to this corner. After working in that foundation row, we're going to chain two, I'm going to turn 90 degrees again, and we're going to work along the other edge. And let me show you what else I'm going to do. I'm actually going to crochet over this strand and thereby making it a little bit easier. We won't actually have to hide but one strand at the end. So one single crochet in the first row end, two in the next, one in the next row end, two single crochets in the next row end and see how I'm crocheting over the strand and it's going to hide it pretty effectively. So single crochet one and then two. So go ahead and finish this all the way and I will show you the connection at the end of this round. After working those all the way across we're going to chain two, one, two and we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. Now for round two, we're going to chain one and starting in the next stitch, we're just going to work a slip stitch all the way around, working one in each stitch and in each turning chain. So I'm going to work this across and I will show you how I slip stitch into that turning chain in just a second. So after working this all the way across, I get to the chain space. Just go ahead and work one slip stitch there and turn and continue working slip stitches around. Just wanted to show you how to make that turn. So go ahead and work that around the rest of the cloth and I will show you the connection at the very end. After having worked the slip stitch all the way around, I come to the chain two. I'm going to work a slip stitch in there. And I'm going to go into the very top of that first stitch of the round and I'm going to fasten off with a slip knot. And I'm going to just pull that on through. 
and we are almost finished. We do have one important thing to do and that would be to hide this loose strand. I'll go ahead and show you how to do this with your yarn needle. Thread it in like this. I like to do this on the back side. And I'm going to come down into the stitches like this. And I'm going to run it underneath these single crochets. This might be a little tight uh, since we used a smaller, uh, smaller crochet hook. Yeah, but you should be able to get this needle through. You may have to just give it a little bit of a tug. And I'm going to run it under a couple couple inches worth of uh, stitches here because this is a, a work item. We're expecting it to get wet and to scrub and to, you know, experience real life here. So we want to make sure that this strand is, is hidden securely underneath our work. I think that's secure enough. So now I'm going to trim this very carefully make sure you don't cut the stitches but you do want to make sure there's no extra excess string hanging off of that so there we have it we have our completed spa cloth well i hope you enjoyed making this cabled spa cloth with me today if you did please hit that little thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe if you haven't already god bless bye bye